Welcome to the homework for lesson 16. It's module 4 of grade 2. <clears throat> Always get your name on there first. And we're solving word problems using our DW process. Read, draw a picture, and write an equation and answer statement. Always, every day, all the time, every word problem, whether it's homework, test, problem set, application problem, whatever it is, always RDW with word problems. Vicky modeled the following problem with a tape diagram. So the picture's already drawn for us. 82 students are in the math club. So I'm going to label the picture. This is the club. Oh, science club. Okay, so let's use M for math and S for science. That's the math club. 35 are in the science club. How many more students are in the math club than the science club? That's the, that's the how many more. So, we're going to solve this. It's subtraction. Eighty-two minus thirty-five. We've been doing lots and lots of vertical subtraction. So here we go. Eighty-two is our menu end. We're going to subtract five ones from two one. We can't do that, so we have to unbundle a ten. We'll have seven tens left after we do that, and we'll have twelve ones. Twelve minus five is seven. Seven tens minus three tens. Four tens. So our equation was eighty two minus thirty five equals forty seven. There are forty seven more. math club students. And now show another model <clears throat> to solve your to solve the problem and write your answer in a sentence. So that was a tape diagram with vertical subtraction. So that's a tape diagram version of it. We can also do this as a number bond. But we have to label the number bond if we're going to do it. So the hole in our problem is that we have the math club with 82. We have the science club with 35. And the difference between the two, D. <clears throat> and I'll do this one with a tens and ones chart. 82 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 2. And then to cross out 35, I can't cross out 5 ones, so I need to break up a 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me zoom in a little bit here. And now I can cross out three tens and five ones. And it's still 82 minus 35, right? 82 minus 35. And we know what it's going to be because we already solved it. It should be 47. If, we, if this comes out right, it should come out to be the same. Uh, so we cross out five there, and then we're going to cross out three tens. One, two, three. And what do we have left? One, two, three, four tens, and five, six, seven ones. It's 47 again. And the answer again is there are 47 more
more math club students. Forty-six birds sat on a wire. Some flew away, but twenty-nine stayed. How many birds flew away? Right? It's still RDW for all word problems every day. So we have, I'm going to draw a tape diagram because those are my favorite. And these are the birds on the wire. 46. Some of them flew away. F. And some of them stayed. S. We know how many stayed. 29. So how many flew away? 46 minus 29, the difference between those two numbers. Now this one is a uh, 29, that's a minus 9. We could use tape diagram subtraction for this. We don't have to always do vertical method. 46 29 Right, and the idea with the tape diagram method is you want an easier subtrahend. So that's one away from 30, so we're going to add one to both numbers. Which means now we have 30, and now the 46 is a 47, and it'll work. 47 minus 30, 17. 17. Birds flew away. <clears throat> and you, you can do vertical subtraction for this if you want. You could do the, uh, you could draw a, a tens and ones chart and, and unbundle and cross out. You can do that too. Uh, you know, any of these, you don't have to do the same methods that I choose. I just want to show you different examples of ones that you can use. Sometimes when the num numbers are different, other strategies will be easier. It really kind of depends on the numbers you're working with. Ian bought a pack of 47 water balloons. 19 were red, 16 were yellow, and the rest were blue. How many water balloons were blue? So we have The whole pack is 47. There are red ones. There are yellow ones. And there are blue ones. We know how many red ones there are. 19. We know how many yellow ones there are. 16, and the blue ones we don't know. And these are the water balloons, the whole pack. So, whatever this 19 plus 16 is, we find that, and then we can find the difference between that and the 47. So we can add those together first, or we can subtract them one at a time. Either we subtract twice, or we subtract we either we subtract the 19, and then whatever's left, we subtract the 16. Or we add and then subtract. So either subtract twice, or add once and subtract once. So most anybody I think would want to add first and then subtract. So let's take the red and the yellow together. Because we have to figure out what that is before we can find out the difference of what's left. So, um, 16 plus 19 equals how much? Well, the 19 is almost a 20, so you might remember this trick. Think of the 16 as a 1 and a 15. 
and now you've got 20 plus 15, which is, you write that out. Let's skip that part. 20 plus 15, which equals 35. So now we have to subtract 47 minus this is 35. So we can use tens and ones. 47 is our minuend, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. Can I cross out five ones? I sure can. Can I cross out three tens? One, two, three. And that's what I have left here. I have one ten and two ones. 12. 54 pages of his book in the morning. He read 27 fewer pages in the afternoon. How many pages did Daniel read altogether? All right, so here's what he read in the morning. And in the afternoon, he read fewer pages. So it's going to be less than 54, so it's going to be a smaller piece of tape. That's in the afternoon. Uh, we know that it's 27 fewer, so this is the... That's the fewer. Can I zoom in a little bit more here? Yeah. That's the fewer, but we don't know how many he read in the afternoon. When we find out how many he read in the afternoon, then we can find out how many he read altogether, because we have to add the morning and the afternoon together later on. So this is what we're really going to have to find out is this. The morning and the afternoon together. We know the morning is 54, but we don't know the afternoon. Figure out the afternoon by subtracting. So we can just do 54 pages minus 27 pages. And we don't have enough ones to subtract seven pages here. So from four, so we'll have to unbundle a 10. That'll give us 14 ones 14 ones 14 minus 7 is 7 and 4 tens minus 2 tens is 2 27 so that tells us that 54 minus 27 equals 27 it's a double how about that but here we have to figure out 54 plus now we know what the question mark is that's 27 that's going to be right now we know what that is we can write it as 27 the whole thing That's what we're really trying to find out. <clears throat> so that's the morning. There's the afternoon. 
you know this you could think of this this could be a number bond too just as well as a, a tape diagram so let's do the addition uh seven ones and four ones i don't see any easy tricks here mentally speaking so let's just do let's use our vertical method four plus seven is eleven so that's a one and a ten and we'll add our tens five and two is seven and one more is eight eighty one that's probably the easiest way to do it Daniel read 81 pages altogether. 